प्रिवेंशन इज बेटर so 10 ways you can prepare for saturn dasha now before i go into this it's not to create fear you know it's not that saturn dasha will come and it will destroy everything that you have in life all right it's not like that i have dozen or two three dozen videos on saturn and how saturn gives results so please watch my saturn playlist all right there you will find more input inputs about saturn and how you can understand your saturn all right but nonetheless one thing is clear saturn is the natural malefic or rather the worst of all malefic so saturn dasha brings hardships okay it does not bring destruction but it can bring delays disappointment setbacks and it can make your life a bit tough okay but that does not mean it will take away everything that that's not correct okay so depending on how your saturn is placed it will be decided whether you know will there be delays or disappointments or you know things will end or whatever all right but if saturn is well placed it can give you great things provided you work hard so one thing is guaranteed that you have to work hard and there is no escape from that all right so having said that 10 ways by which you can prepare for saturn dasha and don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it till the end and share it with someone whose saturn dasha is coming up and subscribe to the channel if you are new and for consultations please follow my website down below and yes god is there with you he will be there <laughs> when your saturn dasha sare sathi begins so the first thing that you need to do is this is crucial and this is the backbone of everything else that you do which is you need to develop self uh, discipline and responsibility all right so you need to embrace a disciplined lifestyle you you have to do it there is no other alternative okay because saturn will reward those who are responsible and you know you need to be very diligent you need to be alert you need to be punctual all right please pay heed to the watch so whenever you tell something to somebody you know i will do this tomorrow at 4 o'clock in the evening then please do it all right don't don't beat around the bush be responsible if required go a bit early and do it all right so stick to your routines diligently if you just stick to your schedule and your routines and if you just do it consistently you will be rewarded all right so number 2 which is gold which is you know you must work hard as i have already uh, said this before so you need to work hard and you need to have perseverance all right so saturn respects hard work and everybody else does okay so the more you work hard the more you will be rewarded by saturn the more you work hard not just for two days <laughs> but consistently the better you will be rewarded by saturn okay so and also you need to have perseverance you cannot like you cannot be like ah why can't it happen today all right you have to have this perseverance you have to learn to grind basically saturn dasha is a period for grinding so you have to grind in some area of your life or maybe all areas of your life depending on how saturn is or where saturn is number 3 is you should you should not be unethical and immoral so cultivate ethics and morality within you because saturn is the judge basically that is why he gets exalted in libra right so this means if you have a bad habit of you know speaking lies or you know like uh, throwing the blame onto somebody else you know or doing some immoral activities you know uh, that is not good because you know saturn will value uh, your ethics and morality and it will reward you okay even if you will lose in life but you should not become unethical and you should uplift your moral standards okay so do what you said and say what you did okay that's very important so honesty and integrity are like essential in saturn dasha because in saturn dasha what happens the punishments can be very immediate okay the good things may be delayed <laughs> but the punishments are immediate sometimes so if you do something wrong you will get immediate like next day you are fired you you do something wrong and you are wondering oh i thought nobody will come to know but that's what saturn is he exposes you okay so 
very important if you have done something wrong be honest upfront and go and say you will still get the beatings but maybe it's a bit tolerable <laughs> and number four this is crucial this is the lesson of the bhagavad gita which is <clears throat> you should be like a karma yogi where you should be selfless okay so during saturn dasha life might teach you things like you know you have to be a selfless husband selfless wife selfless father or selfless mother selfless son or daughter so in saturn dasha you may be doing so many things and you may not get any rewards for it okay but you still have to keep doing it so reduce your expectations minimize them rebalance readjust and <laughs> because you might have to do things without seeing any results sometimes <laughs> or you might have to do things without getting any appreciation okay this is very important because uh, if you do this then what will happen is eventually if not in this lifetime in some other lifetime you will be rewarded and this might sound a bit like a fancy thing you know in some lifetime you will be rewarded no it's not fancy because if you are having problems in this lifetime, Saturn, Dasha or Sarasati, it is, it's a result of your sinful activities in the previous lifetime. So you cannot change that now. But in this lifetime, if you maintain the dignity and uh, if you maintain the decency and your morality, your ethics and your selfless attitude, then you will be rewarded in this lifetime again or some other lifetime. Okay, so save it for that. Number five... <clears throat> You must do some spiritual practices. So please chant this mantra, Om Namo Narayanaya. This is very important for Saturn. <laughs> so regular meditation, gratitude journal, prayers, and you know, recitation of uh, Shani Mantra or you know, Shani Stotram. Uh, and all this can actually help you. Okay, because when Saturn Dasha is there, you might realize everything is not in your control. So what do you do? You leave it up to God, right? Then you realize God is there or maybe not. <laughs> so number six, uh, you can do also astrological remedies. Like, for example, if Saturn is uh, in a particular sign, you know, if he's exalted, which means he's in Libra, then, you know, you can uh, do some remedies for Venus. If he's in debility, which is, you know... <clears throat> In the sign of Aries, so you can do some remedies for Mars. They can also help you, okay? And if Saturn is well placed, you can also wear the gemstone of Saturn, which is you know the Neelam, right? Blue sapphire. That's very important. Uh, but um, if Saturn is not well placed, then do not wear this gemstone. And gemstones should only be in your body, not just fingers. Only after consultation with your astrologer. Without that, just don't do it. All right. So if Saturn is overall good in the chart, then you can wear, that will increase the Saturnian energy in your chart, all right? <clears throat> you can also recite, you know, like Hanuman Chalisa, that will also help you, okay? And then number seven, Saturn is the Karaka for Dusthana houses. So please take care of your health, no compromise with your health. So if your Saturn Dasha is coming up in six months to eight months, or one year, or even two months, one month, please make sure that you are eating right, okay? Try to uh, get rid of uh, things which are there in the 8th house. 8th house is addictions, you know, like uh, drinking, then smoking, watching pornography, masturbation and all this. Very dangerous. In Saturn Dasha, you can have serious problems. So try not to do it. And apart from this, you should always uh, cultivate good habits, you know, like going to the gym, yoga and all this. Pranayam is very important because... Saturn is Vayu Tattva and the more you do Pranayam, your Vayu element, the Vata is balanced in the body, okay? So don't take it lightly, have a balanced diet and try to avoid taking too much sugar and, you know, too much spices. Number eight, of course, Saturn is the Atma Karaka of the D10 chart. He is also the Karaka for the 10th house. So profession will require more efforts. Maybe... See, the thing is, before Saturn, Jupiter Dasha comes. And Jupiter is, guess what? He's the greatest benefit. So he just gives things sometimes, okay? Without even you wanting or without even you asking or without even you deserving sometimes. But Saturn is not like that. Saturn says, I'll give you. I'll give, I will reward you with the entire world. Provided you show me your caliber. Provided you show me your hard work. All right, so... 
you need to understand that managing your uh, money your career is of the utmost importance okay otherwise if you were just getting promotions in you know, every two three years you don't do much work there's not much performance from your side or neither is there any effort and you're just getting promotions that's gonna stop in saturn dasha that it it will certainly not continue all right so if you are not happy with this <laughs> then don't worry but start preparing you have a meeting with your manager if possible don't tell your manager your saturn dasha is coming up <laughs> unless the manager also knows astrology and your chart uh, but uh, yeah, just have a meeting and then see how can you align your goals and responsibilities with the roles of your manager and the organization. And number nine, you have to focus on skill development. See, 10th house is the house of skill. People think it's the house of name fame, but it is also the house of skill. So if you are not skillful, then you cannot expect results in any area of life. Every area of life will require different skills, okay? So, for example, if you are married and you have a family, then, you know, you have to know how to deal with your spouse, your children, your parents, your in-laws and, you know, your friends, you know, friends of your spouse. So, all these. So, that's a family-oriented skill that is required. And then you will need, you know, uh, financial skills. You will need skills to have a good health, you know. So, so learn more take guidance from people who are already uh, better than you in that area of life and then uh, you will do much better then you will have conviction to exert more energy and by that you will get better results okay and number 10 last but not the least you need to develop the power of acceptance because as much as you would like it or you don't as much as your saturn is well placed it is greatly placed it is badly placed it is the best or the worst there will be delays and certain things will not go as per your expectation so you have to learn to accept so if things are going as per your way great but don't take it for granted so keep putting the hard work keep grinding all right and if things are not going the way you want accept it uh, and with gratitude and understand that maybe there is some karmic backlog some karmic you know baggage is there because of which it is not happening and once you do this then you can actually uh, forgive yourself and also forgive others because who knows god knows how many sins we have done in our previous lifetimes because of which you know we are suffering the way we are now in this lifetime and especially in saturn dasha so therefore if you feel that uh, you are not able to accept then yes maybe you have to cultivate some acceptance okay so again going back to point number five you need to do spiritual practices read about bhagavad gita karma yoga gyan yoga ashtang yoga bhakti yoga and all this and then read the ramayana the mahabharat and you will be able to accept things more by seeing great personalities like uh, krishna ram and then yudhishthir maharaj and bhishma pitama arjun draupadi kunti and sita devi hanuman jambavan sugriv angad nal neel all these great personalities they are there to give the lesson of acceptance okay accept things that you cannot change and try to change things that you can all right thank you so much if you like this video don't forget to like share uh, subscribe and also comment below your insights about saturn dasha what helped you to prepare for saturn dasha and yes for consultations you will find my website down below in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will see him before after or even after sat on the shower even during all right take care